at it. It is nice. <laughs> and also all clear, I wanted to show you this view of the moon this morning. Nice. It is a full moon and we've been watching this and that's been the reason why we do have those higher than normal tides. So we are going to have another day of that flooding, that uh, astronomical tide flooding that we've seen in parts of the North Bay and along the Bay Shore. Let's get a look at what to expect today with this morning. The frost advisory continuing for the North Bay and East Bay Valleys until 9 o'clock. But after this chilly start, we're headed for highs in the upper 60s. So really, it's the envy of the entire rest of the country. And ahead, we are going to have some cool weather with some spotty showers off and on. So here's the system that's headed our way going into this evening and into the day tomorrow. It looks pretty big, but it's actually weakening and encountering some dry air. So as it moves in, we're just going to see some light showers late tonight into early tomorrow morning. We may see a couple of brief heavy downpours, but it is in and out of here quickly. And by tomorrow afternoon, we're back to the sunshine. Thursday starts out dry, but we'll see another wave of some spotty showers that not everyone will see, but we are going to have another chance of rain on Thursday. So between those two systems coming in, some of us may only see a couple of sprinkles, a few hundreds of an inch of rain, most of us getting about a tenth of an inch of rain, and the coastal areas and parts of the North Bay may measure the most with about a quarter inch of rainfall. So as we go through the end of the week, it does stay unsettled, cool temperatures, and there will be some rain just to our north for the weekend. If this slides a little bit farther to the south, we'll have to increase our rain chances. And while we get some rain, the Sierra gets a light snow, about four to nine inches of snow between now and the weekend. And look for temperatures reaching into the low 60s inland. Our mornings will still stay chilly with upper 30s and lower 40s.